All right, Honors Algebra 2 and Algebra 2, you guys get the same video today. A lot of you have responded to my email um, uh, requesting you to start turning things in. Okay, I think you have again until what, like Saturday night to get full credit on that. Obviously, you can turn things in later. Um, everything should be very easy to get 100 on, so don't make this more complicated. If you have somehow lost your game plan, you can always just like what you're going to have to do for Chapter 8 and 9, just write it on a separate sheet of paper. And label everything well and that's fine by me just want those things in practice nine four worksheet page three again in this game plan that is page three practice nine four i did the video over the first 16 earlier this week here's for the next 20 of them both classes both classes are going to be doing the same questions so number 17 here, here's the question. Multiply or divide and simplify. Those are the instructions for all of this. You have 5a over 5a plus 5 times 10a plus 10 divided by a. What you're going to do is you're going to factor out the 10 that these two have in common, factor out the 5 that these two have in common. I did that right there. Then it's cancel time. Notice first off you have 5 over 5. Bye-bye. You have uh, a over a. Adios. Then you have a plus 1 over a plus 1. Now, they don't have to be directly above each other. Just one north, one south. The north cancels with the south. North cancels with the south. North cancels with the south. All right? Your answer is 10. That's the name of the game, folks. Simplifying rational um, expressions involving multiplication and division. Number 19 uh, is this. You can't see it all. So the first fraction is x minus 1 times 2x minus 4 over x plus 4. Second fraction is x plus 1 times x plus 4 divided by 2x minus 4. Well, everything's already factored. So I have what? What do I have in common? I have a 2x minus 4 up top and down south. They cancel. I have an x plus 4 up top and down south. So notice that everything in the denominator is gone. What remains is x minus 1 times x plus 1. If you FOIA that out, that is x squared minus 1. Either of those answers is good for me. 20. Everything is already factored as well. There's the first fraction times second fraction. Again, everything is already factored. What do we got here? We got an x plus 3 over x plus 3. Now, notice that x plus 3 does not cancel out, okay? They cancel each other out. That one remains, all right? Got uh, x plus 4 over x plus 4. x plus 1. x plus 1 cancel. The thing that remains is that x plus 3. That is your answer. On 21, here's your question. What we're going to do is we're going to factor. These two have a 5 in common. We're going to factor out the 5. We're going to factor out the 3 they have in common. We're going to factor out the 7 they have in common. We're going to factor out the 10 they have in common. Now, I didn't make this one up. I don't. This one's not, uh, not too bad because you have y plus 5 over y plus 5. That will cancel. Other than that, you can do one of two things. If you wanted to, uh, you know, 5 and 10 cancel. Put you, it would give you a 2 at the bottom. Then you could have your answer almost immediately. Here's what I did. I just put, so what's going to remain up top? The 5 times y minus 4 times 7. What's going to remain at, remain at the bottom? The 3 times 10 times y plus 4. All right. And what I did, I just multiplied everything together. It's going to give me 35y minus 4. It's going to give me 30y plus 4. Then, no matter how you do it, you could have done this originally. 35 and 30, I can both divide them by 5. 7 is up top with the y minus 4. 6 is down below with the y plus 4. There you go. All right, those are the first four for us. Again, pause this anytime you need to. So, Trying to make this video in under 20 minutes. 22. That is what we're working with. Our first step is to factor. So the 3x to the third is not going to factor. That's going to be x minus 5, x plus 5. Right there. This is going to be x plus 5, x plus 1. And that's going to remain the same. All right, so I'm going to factor everything. Name the game is the first factor. Then I can start to cancel some things out. 
So first off, the x plus 5s will cancel. All right, the x plus 1 is going to remain. The x minus 5 is going to remain. But look, you have, don't worry about the 3 on the outside. That 3 is going to remain as well. This is 3x's here, x to the 3rd, and that's 2x's. So they will cancel. You're going to take 2 away from the top. Okay. Can divide them both by x squared. So the one thing that remains in the, in the denominator is x minus 5. Up top, you're going to have 3 times x times x plus 1 over x minus 5. All right, folks, 23, we know this from junior high. You don't divide with fractions. Instead, you multiply by the reciprocal. So here's the initial question. But I'm going to take 3y plus 3 divided by 6y plus 12, and I'm going to multiply it by the reciprocal of this. So I'm going to say times 5y plus 5 over 18. Again, we multiply by the reciprocal always. Then I'm going to factor. I'm going to factor out the 3 they have in common. I'm going to factor out the 6 they have in common. I'm going to factor out the 5 they have in common. Let's see what I have left. And again, it's not much. Now, these won't take each other out. They're both in the north here. They're on the same team. These will not cancel. They're going to remain. Nothing to cancel the y plus 2 with. So that stays, that stays, that stays. If you want, we could simplify, you know, 3 over 6 is 1 over 2. I just multiply them together. 3 times 5 is 15. 6 times 18 is 108. And then I divided. The only thing you can really do is divide these both by 3. And uh, it doesn't look like it's simplified well, but here would be your answer. All right. Again, y plus 1 times y plus 1 would be y plus 1 squared. That's why I have that there. All right. So interesting answer. Um, not much simplified, but there it is. Here's number 24. You got, again, this is 24. Write that down again. Instead of dividing by the second fraction, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So x minus 2 will be north. 4x plus 4 will be down south. What do they have in common? Take the 6 out, factor out the 6. You're left with 6 times x plus 1. Down below, it's going to be 4 times x plus 1. All right, there we go. Notice the x plus 1s, north, south, the x plus 1s will cancel. I then just did 6 times x minus 2. I left it like that. 7 times 4 gives you 28. Again, we could have canceled out the numbers right there. Um, 6 and 28 can both be divided by 2. 3 times x minus 2 over 14. Yes, you can call it 3x Minus 6, that's fine. All right, 25, we're back to multiplying from the beginning. Here is 25. So I'm just going to start to factor. Everything gets factored here. So first numerator, you can just take out the y that they have in common. First denominator, what multiplies the 18 differs by 7, y plus 9, y minus 2. Difference of two perfect squares, y plus 9, y minus 9. What multiplies the 18 adds to a negative 11, y minus 2, y minus 9. The order doesn't matter there. That's how everything factors. When you have factored everything, then it's time to see what cancels. All right, so first off, y minus 2 over y minus 2. Bye-bye. y plus 9 over y minus 9. Or y plus 9 over y plus 9. Bye-bye. And then y minus 9 over y minus 9. All you're left with is y over y minus 2. There it is. All right. Again, pause this whenever you need to. On 26, here is the original 26. First off, y plus 6 squared. That means it's y plus 6, y plus 6. The bottom factors would be y plus 6, y minus 6. The top is 3 times y minus 6. The bottom is 2 times y plus 6. Take that down to factor town. Well, we can't go. It's closed. But, you know, there's the idea. So, what's going to cancel? y plus 6, y plus 6, y minus 6, y minus 6. Holy cow, y plus 6, y plus 6. Just left with 3 over 2. 3 over 2 is your final answer. And we're moving, folks. 
take a look here. Again, just have these, write them out exactly as I do, the same work. It's very easy to get all the points for this, folks. Don't lose this as well. If you're going to pre-calc next year, you definitely need this. All right. So again, um, first thing I'm going to do is I see division, but I'm not going to divide by fractions. Instead, I always multiply by the reciprocal, flip it, flip it good. So it's going to be times the y squared minus 7y is now up top. So y plus 7, y minus 7. y minus 7, y minus 7. Factor out the y, you have y, y minus 7. Factor out the 5, you have y, I'm sorry, you have 5 times y plus 7. There is everything factored. Then we go to simplifying, crossing out what I have in common, north and south. All right, so first off, y plus 7s cancel. Then that y minus 7 goes with that y minus 7. This y minus 7 goes with that y minus 7. I'm left with y over 5. y over 5 is my final very simplified solution. All right, number 28. Let's take a look here. Again, instead of dividing, so I'll let you write that down. Instead of dividing by the second fraction, I'm going to multiply by its reciprocal. So I'm going to flip that fraction. All right, that's all I did is I flipped it. Now, whoa, 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 sorry about that. This is going to be what multiplies 10 differs by 3. That's going to be x minus 5, x plus 2. This so one here is going to be x minus 3, x minus 2. There's only one way to get 2x squared. It's got to be a 2x and something. 2x and x. There's only one way to get 2x squared. And down below, you can see what I did. 2x minus 1, x minus 5. 2x minus 1, x minus 3. Those are all of our factored. Um, those, that's everything that has now been factored.